In this video, I'm gonna walk you through how to find best-selling niches for Etsy and then how to use Kittle to make those best-selling designs and even how to use Printify to fulfill those products. I'll be using a tool called E-Rank to find a best-selling topic and then find the best sub-niche in that topic and I'll show you how to make a design similar to those best-sellers that you see on Etsy. I'm even gonna show you how to find the right product type and set up the file so your design is ready to go. Then I'll even order a proof of the sweater we're gonna design so you can see exactly what it looks like coming straight from Printify. So get ready to take some notes and go ahead and sign up for Kittle using the link in the description if you haven't already because you can be selling tons of best-selling print-on-demand products in just minutes and I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that in this video. All right, the first thing we're gonna do is go to Etsy and type in psychedelic shirt. That is the overall niche that I have decided to go with because I know generally it sells really well because right here we have 38,000 results. Now this is too big. As a starting Etsy shop we want to narrow this down. I like this shirt right here that has mushrooms on it so I'm gonna go to E rank I'm gonna click on keyword tool and then we're gonna start narrowing this down. Now this is the free version. You do have a quota of 50 per day. So what I'm gonna do is type in psychedelic shirt and hit search. Now I know that's the exact same thing, but as you can see here, we have some results that look okay. And the real, the real hero of this is finding all of these different keyword ideas and tags. So I can sort this by hitting the Etsy competition slider. And now you can see everything that's searched way too big. But as we scroll down, we start to get more into specific sub niches with the amount of Google searches that are over here on the right, that would be directly linked to Etsy because that's specifically what we're looking for. So as I scroll down here, I see this one right here that says shroom shirt, which looks pretty good. We have some long tail keyword availability. So let's go back up here and let's type in something like psychedelic mushroom shirt. So we're already starting to narrow this down piece by piece. I'm gonna hit search, see what comes up for this. Now, that specific keyword amount in that order is not heavily searched, but it's okay. Let's come down here, do the same thing. Let's go to Etsy competition because it's still going to show us relevant keywords. Okay. And so as I scroll down, we want to find a money maker. And I think this one right here, which says mushroom sweater has 4,400 monthly Google searches with long tail keywords. So let's go ahead and click this keyword and look at that. Now we have green across the board and we have tons of great and relevant tags and keywords here that we can do the same method and find find keywords to help us. And we can even scroll down here and check out the top listings for that string of keywords. Now, most people may go over here and go to estimated sales and click that to see how many sales. But if you see here, the listing age is a lot. That's been out for a long time. What I like to do is click listing age. And then what we're gonna do is scroll down until we find one that's starting to make sales but hasn't been listed for super super long so this one 78 days we've got two sales estimated revenue $34 so that's not a ton but 78 days is not a lot of time so let's keep going let's try to find one that's been somewhere close with a good amount of sales uh, and let's just scroll down and see if we can find one uh, that is gonna be a money maker okay so this one right off the bat 108 days so not that much longer we have daily views, estimated sales, and we have tons of profit. So let's go ahead back to Etsy, go ahead and type in psychedelic mushroom sweater. And already the search results right here is much, much more refined, much less. So now we have less competition, but we still have a valid sub niche. Okay, so we can go ahead and scroll and see if we find anything we like. And I, I see some of these that I think look pretty nice, but maybe if we take off psychedelic and just search mushroom sweater, now we're starting to get the style that we want to see. Okay, so we have slightly more search results, 7,000, because again, mushroom sweater is not super specific, but we know that it is a valid niche and that there is a lot of product here without a ton of competition. So in Kittle, if I just type in mushroom in our t-shirts category, you can see all of these templates we already have available. Now I'm gonna show you how to make one from scratch, but you could easily 
get started with one of these templates. Now, once I'm in the editor, I'm gonna go over to POD presets and we already have some specific for Printify as well as others. Now, I'm gonna use the T-shirt preset because I know that adheres to both sweaters and hoodies. Now, I'm gonna go into the elements panel. I'm gonna type in mushroom and then what I'm gonna do is expand this menu, which I can do by clicking that arrow, and now I can see all of the different mushroom styles. Now I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with a more botanical style vintage look, but as I scroll, you can see mushrooms and florals in a variety of styles. Now, what I wanna do is do something similar to one of the products we saw, which was put these in a row, basically three in a row, up and down so six total mushrooms or six total mushrooms and leaves I was thinking maybe of incorporating leaves but then I was thinking we have a good amount of mushrooms already here in Kittle and I think something like this is really easy to do and it would look good on a variety of colors and so I think this is looking pretty nice we're gonna go ahead and select all of these make sure that they're aligned here you could also use the grid if you want I can grab all of these vertically and make sure that they're all aligned vertically as well with the center tool over there in the right side panel I'm gonna go ahead and change the background color because I envisioned this on a dark gray or a dark gray heather sweater or maybe dark blue dark green something like that but I think we're still missing text so I'm gonna go over here and add text and I'm thinking of quotes that may go with uh, mushroom or cottage core or growing or something like that like stay growing or keep growing or something like that I need to make sure that the color is gonna come through it black certainly won't work and then if I go up here in the typefaces and type in PSY for psychedelic I haven't I don't even need to type the rest of the word out you can see all these cool groovy style fonts that I think still fit this vibe. So something maybe like stay wild could work, but then I was thinking maybe text here at the bottom, like keep growing to kind of complete the square right here. And then I was thinking maybe it needs to be a little bit smaller, go through, try a couple different things. And then I was thinking it'd be nice to have a word on each column. Now I've landed on time to grow, okay? That's what I landed on that I think is gonna work for this. We're gonna open up the mockups feature to go ahead and get a proof of concept here and see what it would look like, okay? So here's what it would look like on the front of a shirt. That's pretty cool. We're not really targeting shirts specifically right now. We need to look for a sweater or a hoodie. Now we're going to continue to upload different sweater mockups. I'm going to go ahead and look at what this would be like on a hoodie or on the back, specifically on the back. I think that looks pretty cool. I think maybe on the front for a sweater would be even better. Let's go ahead back to the editor. I'm going to label this so we don't lose it or forget it or can't find it. Mushroom sweater is always important to label your products. Now it's already at 300 DPI. Remove the background and I'm going to download the PNG because PNG is what you will need for Printify. So now we're here in Printify. All I've done is gone to catalog and then I went to sweatshirts. You could go to any product you want. Super easy to do. We're going to go ahead and target the USA here. You could target anything else that you want. What we're going to do is go with the unisex heavy blend crew neck from Gildan, the Gildan 1800. And then as I scroll down, what you're going to want to do is select your print provider. Okay. So here you have the price and the shipping from a variety of different providers. For example, here's Awkward Styles. And here's another one that's Swift POD, which I think I'm going to go with because it looks like I have the best ratio to make some profit. So we're going to go with that one here. And now we're in the editor to start uploading our design. Hey, real quick, if you're getting value out of this Etsy tutorial, do me a quick favor and hit that thumbs up button and that red subscribe button so you don't miss any upcoming videos just like this one. And then in the comments, let me know where you are in your Etsy journey. Are you already making sales on Etsy or maybe you've just started? Let us know in the comments so we can make more helpful videos just like this one. So once we're ready, let's go ahead and drag our image in. You could upload it if you want, but I'm just gonna drag it in. Remember, we removed the background from it, so we should just be seeing our mushrooms. Boom, there they are. And then what we can do is go up here to select our colors. Now, white I don't think is gonna work because of the brightness of the text, so I'm gonna click this dark heather color and then to, to deselect, just click the color you don't want and so that the check mark goes off. Now, we could select other colors like forest green and we could go over here to preview them and see what it would look like. And I think this does look good. I think that it would fit this vibe. It's not personally, uh, you know, what I think is going to work super well. I mean, that, that does look fine. I'm just going kind of based on my preferences for, for what I'm going to order. So I think just, I think Dark Heather is just nice. I think that that is a, a solid.
sought after color for both sweaters and t-shirts and I do really like how this looks and I like the brightness of the uh, kind of tan text on the dark heather yeah I think that looks really nice like this again you can always go and preview it which is really nice to see in Printify you can always mock up and see what it looks like so I think that's fine I think I'm just gonna go with dark heather of course you could select more colors if you want for the purpose of this I'm gonna do that one and then now it takes us over into our listing information connected directly to Etsy you can see Etsy up there in the top right you're gonna want to make sure that you're shipping this to your Etsy store and not to some other store now we're gonna make our own mock-ups so this part doesn't really matter I'm just gonna deselect de some of those and then with our title what we can do is go back to e rank and look at some of these listings here and start to collect some keywords in those listings to formulate our own okay so we have things like mushroom lovers gift and we have things like cottage core and we have things like magic mushroom sweater okay so vintage forest fungi all this kind of stuff we're gonna want to formulate and pick that so whatever your sub niche or niche is you want to go find that over in e rank and then start tweaking your title to be a collection of those sought after keywords that someone would search now I'm gonna give you a format for what I think is nice for a title I've struggled with this in the past but I've looked at a lot of different listings and what you're gonna want to do first is copy and paste your title but turn it into sentences then in the next section you're gonna to want to put who this is for so this is a gift for nature lovers or this is for plant lovers or this is from for mushroom people or mushroom lovers or whatever it is so we're describing our title in sentences and then we're saying hey this is a great gift for this or this makes a great sweater for whatever then we're gonna do facts about the shirt or the sweater next so this is gonna be your 100% cotton what type of shirt is it is it one color only etc etc then I like to give a section on how to care for it and the reason I do this is because with print on demand it's pretty much always suggested to hang dry or to wash inside out or to tumble dry on low or something like that just to make sure that the print itself does not fade then you're gonna to want to come up with a shipping and returns policy then what I like to do is paste the tags that you find because you can have 13 tags in Etsy paste them here and create sentences out of them for your SEO then down here, of course, you can change your profit to whatever you need to. I'm just going to do that very, very quickly and change these all to pretty much just 30. Again, I'm not trying to make crazy profit here. This isn't even going to be uh, public. I'm just giving you an example. You're going to have to find out what works for you. Just don't go overboard. Don't try to make a ton of money off of your first couple of sales on Etsy because you're just looking for reviews and you're looking to get out there. Okay, so I selected some tags from E-Rank. I copied and pasted them over into my description. And then what we're going to do is create a sample order. Okay, I did not publish this to my store yet because what I want to do is create a sample order. And the reason is because I want to see what this looks like in person. I want to take pictures of it so that I can use them for my mock-ups. So now that all there is to do is to go ahead and ship this and see what it looks like in the future. All right, so here is the sweater proof that I got directly from Printify. As you can see here, the quality is really, really nice. It's very thick. It feels like it would hold up in the wash. This is the Gildan Heavy Blend. In fact, the first thing my wife mentioned was that it was so soft because she is helping me make some of the photos for the thumbnails. So let's go do that right now and then I'll show you exactly how I set those up in Etsy. All right, so here we are in Etsy. I've got an inactive listing, but you can see Printify shipped over my uh, title, my images that I don't want. So we're gonna go ahead and take those off and we're gonna go ahead and add some photos that I took of the sweater. So I'm just gonna drag in some of these photos. I did an extra large for that over sized style and so I was able to take some kind of flat lay of it laying on the floor and I was also able to take some of my wife wearing it one thing that I'm not including that I would recommend is a size guide definitely do that I see a lot of Etsy listings doing that perhaps even a, sh a shipping or returns slide or something like that you can even add an, a video if you want you could take a brief video of the sweater which would convert even well you could continue to work on your title you can give it a different 
category. Now this is important. I always recommend making sure you click the primary color. For the secondary color, I'm just going to put what I think is closest, which is probably yellow or beige or something. For the scale, it really depends on what you're selling. Now you could, you could click some sustainability things. I'm going to put this as a pullover. Definitely put the style. This is definitely like a boho style. If it fits an occasion, you're going to definitely want to click the occasion that this might be for, or maybe it fits for a holiday. For the graphic, we could go with something like animal or maybe floral. Um, what I'm going to do is go down here a little bit farther to plants and trees. I think mushrooms fit the plants instead of florals vibe a little bit better. This, of course, is a physical product. There is our description, which I'm not going to I'm not going to complete right now because this would not be a real listing. Now we're going to want to add a production partner, which we're going to put in here as Printify. Okay, and Printify gives you a structure for how to do this so all you're going to want to do is just fill that in add it as a as a production partner and then make sure that you select that on etsy as printify for your selection partner which i will link down below for you now once you do that what you're going to want to do is scroll back up to about this listing and then put another company or person okay because they're making it and they're making it made to order. So this just gives more data in case someone needs it. So again, check Printify or whoever your production partner is. You can add a section if you have, you know, cottage core or sweaters or whatever section. Definitely always add that to your Etsy. And then what we're gonna do is go back up into our description and copy the tags that we uh, put here in the description. So I've hit Command or Control C there. I'm gonna scroll back down to where the tags are. Go ahead and click in right here and I'm going to add them. Okay, you're going to use all 13. Definitely use all 13. Then any materials you can put in, the more the better. I'm going to put cotton. I'm just going to put direct garment DTG printing. Uh, and then what you can do is add marketing if you want. You can turn on Etsy ads. If not, then you would hit publish and your listing would be ready to go. Now, if you want to see other tutorials using Kittle, I have these videos here on my right that I know you're going to enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any updates upcoming videos and features and things like that. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.